Hey foodies, it's Marisha, and this is a very, very quick video, so I'm going to give you guys a very, very quick introduction. It's St. Patrick's Day, and I wanted corned beef, so I bought one. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, foodies, so this is my corned beef brisket. It's about two and a half pounds, and this is generally the size that you'll find in your supermarket. So, as you can see on the other side that it's got a season packet in there that's usually like the brining season packet that they put in there for you and when you take it out of the pack one side is covered in fat and then the other side looks fairly lean compared to that side so I'm going to braise this corned beef today I'm not making it the traditional method I'm just gonna braise it so I'm gonna start off by searing it in a hot pan with a little bit of oil I ended up draining some of that oil out both sides we're gonna get a hard sear for about a couple of minutes then I'm going to put my packet in some water and once I know that I have a good sear on both sides I'm going to go ahead and cover the brisket with the water and seasoning packets. It should be about an inch or two of water in the pan. Now I'm going to season this only with some onions and whole garlic cloves. My oven is preheating at 300 degrees. I'm going to cover this pan up. You can also cover it with foil, which is preferred. And then we're going to stick this in the oven for about five to six hours. When it comes out, it's going to be fork tender. There's not that much juice, but those vegetables on the side were so good. As you can see, it's just like ready to fall apart. So let this rest for about five minutes so that the juices can suck back up. Then when you're ready, go ahead and move it to a cutting board. And I'm going to slice this up. I served this with some red cabbage and a baked potato. And it was so tasty. So this is my braised corned beef. So I hope that you all have a lovely St. Patrick's Day. Bye, guys. Being that it's a thick cut of meat, you can slow cook it all day. Or you can do it the more traditional way, which is basically submerging the entire corned beef in the brine and just letting it cook for a couple of hours. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.